is up YouTube all right so today I uh, wanted to do a video on some of the parts that I got for the project FRS so far this year the weather's finally kind of turned so I pulled the car out of storage we'll see if we can see it right now. it's behind the fence but it's there so anyways let's do a short video on uh, a couple of things I bought over the winter and I've just been sitting and waiting for the, the weather to clean up so uh, let's have a look here. So first thing I bought was at the end of last season I just never had time to put it on or I just kind of forgot about it but I bought a roof spoiler so still in the plastic here but it just sits on the back window like that and it just kind of has a fin it's, it's it weighs like nothing which it was like 180 bucks or something. It was actually kind of expensive, but I accidentally I accidentally bought it actually. I kind of just pressed buy now on eBay. And it wasn't wasn't the plan, but it's okay. It's gonna look kind of cool. And then the other thing which you can probably see right here is I ended up getting a really good deal. Someone had this, they didn't want it. It's a sard carbon fiber carbon fiber sorry spoiler and uh yeah, it's like mint. I think it was like test fitted and that's it. And I got it for, I don't want to say how much, but it was a steal. So that'll be going on pretty soon. I already have the duck fin on the spoiler. I don't know if you saw it. In, it's in one of my other videos. There's a duck fin on the spoiler or on the trunk. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it'll look pretty cool. It's super light. It weighs like literally nothing. You can lift it with like a couple fingers. Um, so yeah, I think that'll look pretty cool. And it's adjustable. So you can, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but you can adjust it up and down there just a little bit, get some extra downforce. And then this is a little toy I kind of bought. I wanted to test out and see how it was because I've heard good things. It's the uh, open flash tablet, which the Canadian dollar is so bad right now and we're out in Canada. And uh, it was kind of expensive, like it was like 710 bucks. For this like thing and it it's like it, it I don't want to say it feels cheap but it, it kind of does for 700 bucks but it is touchscreen and I mean I think with a header I'm gonna try and build it get a custom header built but with a header you're supposed to add like 20 some horsepower or something uh, and and mostly I just wanted it to take out the torque dip was the main concern because it's anyone who owns an FRS knows that the torque dip is absolutely brutal and it kind of ruins the car and I think without it the whole experience of the car would just be a ton better um so kind of a big buy but it's worth it we'll see well I'll let you know if it's worth it or not but I think it might be uh, another thing I bought was I found these on Amazon let's see if I can this here was uh TRD badges so I haven't really decided where or what I'm going to do with them yet but my first or my original thought was remove all the the emblems off the back the frs and the scion badge and just have one of those so i don't know if I, what i'm going to do with it yet but or even on the side have two on either side but we'll see but they're good quality it's actually the second set i bought i bought a, a, another set off ebay or amazon or one of the two and it just came and it looked terrible so i mean i think i bought the original set for like eight bucks and they looked like eight dollar emblems which my fault, so whatever. So I spent a little bit more. I think these were like 20 or 30 bucks, but a lot better. And I'll, I'll put them on my car. So we'll do that. And then the other thing, which is kind of a bigger mod this year that I don't have here at the house, they're in storage, but I got new rims and tires. Uh, so I got the 720 form GTF1 rims, and they're 17 by 9 or 9.5. Nine I can't remember. My last set of wheels, you could, in my other video, my first video, I think, you can see the wheels are 17 or 18 by seven and a half. So they're kind of narrow and tall. So I figured a bit smaller wheel, but get an inch and a half to two inches more tire on the ground in all four corners, get a little more stance. And these GTF1 wheels are super light and I got a really good deal on them. So I'll do a video um, of those. Oh, and I got new tires. Um, indy 500 firestone tires firehawks i believe they're called i was gonna go for nittos but there was i think these are discontinued so there was a good deal on them and all the research i did about a month of research before i bought them and they're very comparable to most of the nittos in that price range 
and the Falcons, and there was a good deal. I think it's 900 bucks mounted, so I thought it was worth it. So um, I'll do a video with those next, and I'll mount them. And then I'm gonna do a video mounting the rest of this stuff, and we're gonna do a, a test on the Open Flash tablet and see if it was worth it. And I, I wanted to test it out. I know a lot of people already have, but I'll test it out, let you guys know how it was and if it's worth the buy. And, and if it is, great. And if it's not, I might just get rid of it. You can unflash it from your car, so your car goes back to stock. There's no nothing left of this Flash Open Flash tablet. And if someone else wants it, I know it has some preloaded tunes and you can get updated tunes from their uh, customer support or their website or something. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, and plug and play 20 horsepower without getting your hands dirty. It's, it's kind of cool too. I mean, I don't mind getting my hands dirty, but some people do. Um, so anyway, that's what's new. Do a couple more videos mounting those things. Let me know what you think. It's new channel. I'm trying to get it to grow. So like and subscribe. Thanks.